Hi, this is Patrick Brunel from Brilliant Directories, and in today's video we're going to talk about the sub-accounts plugin that you can purchase for your website. So what are sub-accounts? Sub-accounts are controlled by an account manager. You'll be able to allow professionals or businesses to sign up on your website and designate them as an account manager, giving them the control to add additional members on your directory. Please remember that each sub-account is essentially its own account in your directory. This plugin is perfect for businesses that have multiple locations or for companies that also wish to list their employees, such as law firms, hospitals, and so forth. So let me go ahead and give you a quick tour of this plugin. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and check out the membership levels. You'll see the sub-accounts feature is treated just like any other feature. So you can control whether or not a premium member can add sub-accounts, a basic member, and so forth. So let's look at what it looks like on the front end of the website before we look at the back end of the website. So I'm going to go to the home page right now. And we're going to go ahead and do a quick search. So I'm going to search for uh, law providers. And we can see here, we have three results. We have Brilliant Law Offices. We also have Johanna Smith and Josh Smith that also practice law. So this is a good example of the sub-account feature. The account manager in this instance is Brilliant Law Offices. And they have two lawyers that practice under them, which are Johanna and John Smith. They're all going to show up in search results. Perhaps they have lawyers that practice different types of law and they would like specific lawyers to be found in specific search results. Or perhaps they want to make sure that they control whatever it is their lawyers publish on the internet since it is tied directly to the law offices of Brilliant Law. So let's log in as Brilliant Law Offices and show you the member experience. So we're logged in as Brilliant Law Offices, the account manager, and you can see everything is very similar to a typical dashboard with one minor difference. You'll see here on the left hand side that we have the sub accounts feature where Brilliant Law Officers can view all of the sub accounts that are available to them. So here they have Johanna Smith and John Smith. As the account manager, I can quickly and easily log in to each individual sub account without needing any passwords or usernames. So if you're going to have to be managing multiple profiles either for your website or as a member of your directory then this is a great feature to have. So let's go ahead and click on login to sub account. As you can see we've instantly been logged into Johanna Smith's account where I, the account manager, can add deals and coupons and articles and classifies and job openings as though I was Johanna Smith. So this covers one of the uses of the sub accounts. Now let's go back to the home page and perform a different search. In this instance, I'm going to search for plastic surgery. And you're going to see this is a little bit different. What we have here is we have a company that has two locations. They have a location in New York and they have a location in Miami, Florida. Some customers use service areas for this functionality, but the problem is that service areas will always take into account the primary location of that listing. What subaccounts allows you to do is each li listing is treated independently from the other even though one account manager listing controls them all. So if I do a search for Miami, you'll be able to see the member for Miami. If I do a search for New York, we'll of course only see the member for New York. So you can see how useful this would be, say if you had a lot of franchises on your directory or you had a larger company that had multiple locations and they wanted to make sure that it was easy to manage all of those locations. So let's log in as this sub account. So here we can see that this is the account manager profile. If I am the owner or the manager of this particular business, I would always log in to this particular profile. This would allow me to either make changes to existing sub accounts 
or to add new sub accounts, which I'll go ahead and do for you right now. So we're going to go ahead and click on the add sub accounts. And you'll see I can choose whether or not it's active. If it's a company or an individual, in this case it'd be a company. So I've gone ahead and pre-filled the rest. So we have the category that we want to list under, the name of the company, the email, the password, the address, and so forth. With the email and the password, you can give the sub accounts that you create access to their own listings if you wish. So they can log in as a regular member, which also means you can lock them out of their account at any time you wish. Or you can just create the password in the email, but never share that with them and always be 100% in control of their listing. So we'll go ahead and click on save. And this will create that sub account. So now when we go to click view sub accounts, we'll now see the new sub account that we just created in San Francisco. If I want to add additional information such as its own logo, maybe I want to change the profile photo, add a different description, possibly add a special offer. Again, all I do is click log in to that sub account and I'm now able to make any changes I wish to that. I hope that you found this video helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.